man, is it good to be back here or what? Burger Man's, the hospital, the hog den, slime science headquarters that's still an empty shell, my poor trapped sniffer, all my apartment buildings. It is time to get back into the city mindset. Welcome back to our Let's Play. This is Dallas here. Well, that looks cool. I need some catching up to do. What did I leave off doing here? Oh, I think we made our bank last. Now, okay, yeah, I left a lot of supplies over here. Well, that's exactly what I am looking for. That one too, because we are starting off with a build immediately. And it is of a new building. Oh, I forgot to name the streets after you guys. Whoa. Hey guys. There's Nobbin. He's hiding in a corner for some reason. <laughs> and this is why I collected all of these hay bales last episode, because I knew I was going to build with mud. Do you have any more mud? I do have more mud. Thank you. So this is the color palette I'm going with. Yep. Mangrove and mud mixed with some granite. I have a build in my test world I really like. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Don't I already have a build in this color theme? Not that it matters. I I'll build another one. Okay, it's close, but this one has a lot of andesite. But as you can see, we're starting to build down this street. And I'm leaving this spot open right here is because this is where I still plan to put Burger Man's Diner, which is also... Warwick Street. That is his real name. I don't know if he cares or not. He's a massive donator and we're gonna be building him a burger shop. But anyway, this is going to be pretty tall. I have like some, it's not graffiti, but there's like some text on the side of the building I made, which looks really cool. But this isn't gonna be your regular business building. Slime Science Center took over it. I know, I know. I use Slime Science Center a lot in this world, but I have an idea to make it like a disguised lab. So that's what I'm gonna do. We run operations all over the place. Sometimes they're not exactly legal, so we need to hide them. That's what it's gonna look like. I like it. I just got done building this up here. I used a multitude of different blocks, such as light gray concrete. I got some deep slate stuff and even hoppers, but it creates this really cool like trim effect, you know, like on old classic buildings when they used to care about architecture in this world. I'm gonna try to finish this today. That used all my mud right there. Can you believe that? I got a little bit more, but I don't have the back and side done, so I'm probably gonna have to run out to the mangrove. Now, this is an old department store of some sort. So right up here, I did this in my test world, I have a giant 50% off thing here, and it's gonna look a little faded because this is no longer a department store. It's a repurposed building. Ooh, from this angle right here, this front looks really nice. I'm happy with this. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Okay, there we go, yeah. Look at that. It doesn't look new. It looks like it's probably been there for years. Maybe when the store was closing down, they threw that up, but... Yeah, time to start texturizing a bit. I'm gonna add my drooping if Not drooping. What is it? Just, you know, corrosion effect throughout this. Hey! Yeah! Um, I ran out of mud, but I got a lot of it finished. That's what I need to do. Make an ice road out to... I always say I need to make an ice road. I just need to do it. Wait. I think I have a portal set up at that mangrove. No, I don't know. Do I? It would really help if I did. I'm gonna try texturizing here a bit. Okay, I've been doing a lot in this closed down store. By the way, look at this effect. I love this. It almost looks like there's exposed brick beneath whatever is on the outside layer here. You just do splotches of brick and then surround it by granite. I love that look. Added in my droops up there. Um, but so far, the first floor is where the store was at. So I tried to give it that abandoned look. Um, like, this is where all of the stuff would go, of course, because this is, you know, where you come to buy stuff. <laughs> this is gonna be the register, but I want it to make it look like everything that was sold here is also made here. So this next floor is more of like the storage floor. This is where stuff was being prepared to be put on the main floor. And then the third floor here was the production floor. So we got like crafting tables, looms, tables over here. This is perhaps where they were making stuff. Food wasn't sold here. This was like a big department store of some sort. And then up here, this was gonna be more of a production floor as well, but this is gonna be where my science experiments are. Whatever those might be, because I'm not sure yet. All I know is this is the building Slime Sign Center bought after it closed down. And I am thoroughly enjoying this. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna put on that top floor. Something that can be left behind in this store on the first floor is a giant red sign that says sale. Yeah, 
So that is what I'm going to make here. I'm not gonna put a bunch of merchandise down there because I want the store to look like it was cleaned out. So welcome to the section of this video where Dallas complains. I'm glad to have you. Today, we're complaining that these things right here, you can own them and use them as many times as you want, but you always have to have them to unlock them in here, which really sucks. Which I guess is just gonna inspire me to make a banner store where I store all of the different designs and that's the store I go, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Maybe we might do it today, who knows? But I hate having to run all the way back home just to get that one pattern unlocked. You know what, screw it. We're gonna make a banner store. Where are you at? That's the one I want. Do I have more? Oh, I do. Snout, 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 and flower charge. <laughs> Where's my looms? Do I not have one loom in my house? There better be a loom down here. There we are. Okay, that's all I wanted. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Walk in, just a big sale sign up there. Oh, okay, this is cool. Before I build that science section up there, I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna do that. I could simply use this building as filler and just have it as an abandoned building. Um, well, let's build another building. Uh, not right here, this is gonna be Burger Man shop. I could build that, but I'm still designing it in my test world. It's not complete yet. Um, I guess we can do another one. That's why I haven't designed the side of this, because I think I'm gonna do another one right next to it. And why not make this the banner shop, you know? Yeah, let's try it. I love the look of that bank. I should finish that too. But the banner store, yeah. Um, I am going to go for a dark theme, as you can see. So as you can see, this one looks more like it was built in the 60s, or we're also gonna have a bunch of buildings that look more modernized. Maybe this is an older one too, but it's been redone. But I'm picturing using like birch and sandstone up here. It actually goes really well with dark blocks like this, but I am loving this almost gothic look. I think it looks pretty cool. I like it. It's not gonna be as big as this building. Let me get this face built and see how it looks. I think my building skills are getting better. Look at this beautiful little thing. Oh, it's such a nice little building. This is gonna be a great spot for my banner shop. It's somewhat hidden too. And since I'm doing this lined building fashion similar to that over there, I'll probably just continue build, building buildings over this way. But if you couldn't tell, it takes a big drop here. This is, like I said, gonna be the new slums. And I have this amazing idea that this road is gonna be stilted above the slums. So the road will stay at the same height It'll be like a highway all the way over to this place, if you guys forgot about it. To my space agency, this is what it, this is if you didn't know. I actually forgot this was over here, but it's gonna connect right here. And all the poor people are gonna live under the bridges and... <laughs> it's, it's pretty sad, but... But alright, let's get this thing filled in and we're gonna put a villager in here. The store is ready to be open, but I gotta find every banner pattern I have. Supposedly there's eight in bedrock. Okay, snout. Okay, we already went through all these. Border indentured. Flower charge. That's three. Where are the rest of them? So there are some you have to craft, and there's one that you have to trade, and a few, obviously, that you have to find. Thing. Field masoned. Okay. What about in here? Okay, I'm missing creeper and skull. Oh wait, I don't have any creeper heads. There it is. Skull. Got out of a creeper head in the house somewhere. I put the whiteboard here. It just fits over here better. What's this one? Ancient debris, sweet spot. Oh yeah, I needed to write that down. Mending book, pathfinder. Just to remember. <laughs> How do I not have a creep? Okay, I got a zombie head. Aha, there's one in here. I'll borrow this one. Creeper charge. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're missing one. It is the globe pattern. And you only get that through trading with a master level cartographer. Which I could have swore I've done before, but I don't know where all my patterns went. All right, buddy. I'm really investing in you. You better unlock it. You know, one thing I really don't like about villager trading is in real life, if you came to trade with someone, you would be able to see everything they offer. But in this game, they decide that you have to spend like two stacks of emeralds to maybe get what you want at the end. I find that a little bit strange. And I get what I want? Oh no, of course not. I have to do even more to get master. I'm telling you, I will slaughter you if you do not have that banner pattern. Hi, I'm back. Here's your stupid compasses. Yay, you're not gonna get slaughtered. I said you're not gonna get slaughtered. Boom, all right. Globe, we got it. And while we have this guy, this is going to, no, I already bought, do you know how many emeralds you just took of mine? 
But he's gonna be the one that works in there, so I need a boat. Where's a boat? This is actually pretty fun. I've always wanted to make a banner and wool shop. You look like you just fit this store too. <laughs> um, so I went out and gathered a lot of my favorite banners I've made. Um, but this is also going to be a place where we can experiment and make even more. So, yeah, there's a pretty basic layout. So down here is where I'm going to have all the banners displayed and boxes with, well, the patterns in them. But upstairs is going to be the manufacturing area. So I came up with these, like, little wool spools. So you can, like, pull it out here. And then, let's say he crafts it and then puts it up here. But there's also this other really cool trick I want to try. I guess we can do it up against this wall. So we're going to use cauldrons fill one with water that's what i need to do i need to set wells all over my town because whenever i need water here i have to fly all the way to the ocean we need some looms need lots of looms for this place i need color so my eventual plan for this town is like to stop coming down here for example like when i need dye and wool or banners i simply go to the banner shop when I need wood, hopefully I'll have a wood shop. When I need paper, hopefully I'll have a sugarcane shop nearby. Like, this is what I want my town to eventually be. We are going to do pink. So let's say we're going to dye that pink. Going to borrow one of these. Then we're going to throw this in the loom. And do a fade like that. Oh, and look at that. It looks like I am dyeing the banner with that slow fade. I wonder if it looks better... Yeah, I could leave it like that because maybe I dip it in and then set it up to dry like that. No! No, 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 no. I don't need a cartographer. I need whoever uses this. Is it a shepherd? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that's what I need. What am I thinking? Because they sell like wool and banners and probably dyes. Son of a crap. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Did you have anything? Ooh, I'm just going to buy that real quick just because. Can I have that? Can I have that? 14? I have 13. Can you make me a deal? No? Can I have that? Thank you. Go away. <laughs> It'll just make some more over the- Oh! Oh my... What a- Wait a minute. Look at this. I love how since the Nitwit doesn't have a job, he literally sleeps in. Do you think they coded that? <laughs> I need to put some Nitwits around town. Okay, one of you take the loom, please. The only issue about having this as my breeding ground for my citizens is that there's stuff all over my town that they can take. It's just sucky. Okay, the banner making store is done for now, I think. Oh, it looks so nice. I love how it turned out. So this is really meant for ease of access for me. If I need banners or things for banners, I need to come here. Speaking of, I probably didn't put everything I need in here. So. All of the special banners that I've made, I'm going to line up on this wall. I believe this is all I have in this world so far. Um, but for example, we got like shears over here. We got a dyes chest. And we got all the like main wools that I would use here. I would put like other colors up there. We got banner patterns. What's this? Now, this is going to be blank banners. So this is like what he's making upstairs. And uh, yeah, I got him up here. I think this is well lit up enough. If he dies, then well, we'll have to get another one up here. But this is going to be... Reese Myers. Congratulations, you are a shepherd man who is very tired. I love this big window in here, too. Yeah, that's about it for this place. I think I need to... Eh, I was going to put a chest for sticks, for banners, but yeah, you might as well. I'll put a chest of... No. Yeah, no. But you see, that is how I want to link my world and businesses. When I make my wood shop eventually, I want it to be able to produce sticks and then find a way to send those sticks over here. That's like my dream for this town, is to make a giant mass-producing town that works together to create things. Trust me, this town is still just getting started. This is the beginning stages. We just take breaks every once in a while. Now I want to see what the heck this goes to. It has to be to my first wooden mansion I found, right? It's going to a new one. There's no way. It must be thousands of blocks away then. Just in case I don't make it back, because I want to go see if this wooden mansion's there, I want to think... My donors real fast, which is from Nate Designs, thank you, and Ryan Browning, the wild boy, as you can see, clearly. I didn't write that. Ryan Browning making it on the wall again. Crap, where's your villager? You're the mad scientist that disappeared. Oh, okay, I'll do that next episode. Trust me when I say that. I will. Maybe. Just maybe. Levin Frenzel, Levin Frenzel, thank you for your dono. Fogger, <laughs> Fogarty Fox? Is that your real name? Fogarty? 
Uh, either way, thank you for your dono as well. And Ryan Searfoss, another Ryan. Both Ryans over here and here. Thanks, Ryan and Ryan. Oh, Ryan Searfoss, you're up there. Wow, both Ryans killing it. There's another Ryan Searfoss. There's another Ryan Browning. You're on the original wall over here. There's another Ryan Browning. Y'all are crazy. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, you can I can see it on my screen. The colored text on these signs are really slowing down my world. Is Ryan Browning in the... Crap. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm trying to get good at remembering where people are. Like, I'm actually getting really good at it. Like, the people who are on that wall, like, I... Like, when I look at your name, I can picture where you are. But Browning, I, I always forget where you... I think you were. And then you died, and then I still gotta replace you because of my fault. While I'm flying out here, I guess I can answer today's comic question of the day, too. Got a couple of them. From Tom Brown, 168. What is your favorite song slash band? Love the videos. Thank you. Mom, I think it's always the same thing for me. Okay, well, not necessarily. I, I have a lot of favorite songs and bands, but uh, my favorite of all time, and it's been like my top listen to for like the past five years is The Neighborhood, and I just love them so much, and there's, I, they got a few really good songs. They got a lot of good songs, but the few I always listen to is a song called Stuck With Me and Sweater Weather. Also, Soft Core is a good one, and Void. This is already generating new terrain over here. Oh boy, I don't know how far this thing is. Wait a minute, this isn't new terrain. I know where this is taking me. Oh God, look at this. Oh, what a crazy area. Look, there's chickens. <laughs> If you guys have never seen this in my world, well, here you go. This is from Pocket Edition Exploration that merged with the new update terrain, and it's just wild, as you can see. I'm traveling so far right now, this is not really what I had in mind, um, because I was actually going to save this direction for the newer update. Oh. I'm starting to turn, so it's this way now. Speaking of, I thought I saw someone post today that they're releasing something tomorrow, so hopefully something that we could actually play with. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I read the map wrong. Oh, I read it so wrong. I'm going the wrong way. See? I was heading this way for some reason because it's just at the bottom of the map. That means I need to head this way. Oh, no. Now I'm in the middle of nowhere in terrain I'd never wanted to generate. I wanted to save this direction for new updates. What am I doing? I'm being so stupid right now. Honestly, I, I'm just going to end this episode on me being stupid. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm ending it here. And uh, thank you for your kind donos. Ryan's. Both Ryan's and the other ones. Oh, I feel so stupid. I am walking home. Just kidding. I'm probably going to create a portal. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.